Hey, how's it going, horror fans? After months of trailers, hype, advertisements, and I'm talking about not only hype from the movie studios, but I'm talking about the hype from people on social media. A lot of people that go to the movies and a lot of people that watch movies know that January is the month that movies go to die, especially horror films and especially Blumhouse horror films. So, question is, was the movie Megan worth the hype? Was it any good? Did it even deliver? Well, we'll talk about it right now in my review. The movie Megan is stupid, it's silly, it's very predictable, and the movie is very self-aware of that, and that's why I actually enjoyed the movie. Film Megan is everything that the Child's Play remake should have been. As far as the story goes, I think it. As much as I enjoyed the film Megan, it was definitely far from perfect. Weird edits and weird cuts, and you could definitely tell that the movie was probably intended to be a rated R film, but edited out to be PG-13. As far as characters or character development, the only characters that really had it were the character of Megan, and also the little girl that she's paired with. And oftentimes, don't get me wrong, that little girl can be really annoying. Spoiler warning, every character in this movie is an idiot. You idiots! Even writers from the 1980s knew better. In the movie RoboCop, RoboCop was not even allowed to hurt anybody that was associated with OCP. Directive 4. It's also kind of weird when you think about it, the only successful AI robotic intelligence that actually got to hang out with the kid and actually did what it was supposed to do and protect him was the T-800 from Terminator 2. I would say the only real major flaw in this film is not the movie's fault at all. It actually has to deal with advertising. And advertising especially with Blumhouse. Blumhouse advertisements tend to show you the entire movie. And unfortunately, Megan is the same thing. All the scenes with Megan that we see in the trailer are all in the movie and they don't go beyond that. A good example is the Halloween trilogy. They tend to show you everything and left no surprises for the audience. Maybe the last one you could say was a surprise, but even then, they showed you all the Michael Myers scenes and the finale in the trailers. Like I said, the movie Megan is stupid, predictable. We have seen this all before, and actually it's kind of tame, so I'm hoping we do get an unrated version of the movie because I do think the PG-13 kind of hurt it for some of the diehard horror fans, but overall, it was very entertaining, and I actually had a good time with it. I'm going to give the movie Megan a low B-minus.